Walking down Jayhawk Boulevard, you can hear music from the Campanile. But inside, the instruments may not exactly be what you think. KUJH reporter Dre Bradley takes a look. The Campanile is one of KU's most historic landmarks, with the names of fallen World War II soldiers forever etched in stone. But above, an instrument called the carillon makes this building even more special. This unique looking instrument that Associate Professor of Music Dr. Elizabeth Burke out is playing is called the carillon. These keys are connected to xylophone bars. So. It's an instrument that takes your whole body to play. And we can play the lower half of the bells with our feet. Dr. Bergal was previously in the practice room playing on xylophone keys. In the main room, you get to hear the carillon in action. Graduate student Alyssa Dye is not a music major, but she still finds a connection between the carillon and counseling psychology. I initially started carillon thinking this had nothing to do with counseling psychology, and then realizing that so much of what I was learning here, I was actually applying in counseling psychology. So I was using metaphors about the carillon with my clients. For Alyssa, playing the carillon is a form of self-care. It's, it feels like you're leaving your, your worries down below and you go up there and open the windows and you can hear the birds or the cicadas um, and then it's just you and the bells and the sound of the bells just envelops you when you're up there. It's really exhilarating for me. Concerts are held at the Campanile, but despite sparse crowds, Dr. Bergout still enjoys performing. Sometimes I forget that there's an audience because I'm up in the tower and I don't see who's out on the ground who might be listening. Uh, so sometimes it's, I feel like it's a private concert for myself. For KUJH, I'm Drew Bradley. Concerts at the Campanile are held every Sunday at 5 p.m.